हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन दैट विल हेल्प टू प्रमोट माय चैनल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट एट द इंस्टेंट थीटा इक्वल्स टू 60 डिग्री द स्लॉटेड गाइड रॉड इज मूविंग टू द लेफ्ट विद एन एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ 2 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर एंड अ वेलोसिटी ऑफ 5 मीटर पर सेकंड डिटरमिन द एंगुलर एक्सेलरेशन एंड द एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिंक ए बी एट दिस इंस्टेंट सो we have this mechanism and here we have this slotted guide in which this uh the end of this rod b is moving up and down or uh, we can say that it can move up and down so if this slotted guide is moving towards left then this rod or we can say this link ab will rotate in the clockwise direction like this so in the problem statement it is said that when this theta is 60 degrees the slotted guide rod is moving to the left so it is moving towards the left with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square and with a velocity of 5 meter per second now we are asked to determine the angular acceleration and the angular velocity of link ab at this particular instant when theta is equal to 60 degree we need to find the angular acceleration that is alpha and the angular velocity of this link ab when theta is 60 degrees so now i have drawn this diagram here is this um slotted guide rod moves so what will happen is that this link ab will move and it will cover some angular displacement in the clockwise direction and it will have it will attain some angular velocity and also it will have some angular acceleration alpha So now, first of all, we have to define um, a variable which will uh, tell us the position of this slotted guide rod. So, as we have learned in the previous chapter, in the uh, absolute dependent motion, it is also the absolute motion of the mechanism. So, first of all, we have to define the position coordinate for measuring the position of this slotted guide. So, first of all, I will draw. a line here let's say let's say this pink line is the reference line or we can say this is the datum line from which we are measuring the position of this slotted guide and let's say that when the slotted guide moves towards the right so that that will tell us the position s so now if this when this slotted guide is at at this particular point the s will be equals to 0 and when it moves towards the right so we will be measuring the position by by the variable s right so the variable s tells us the the value of the variable s will tell us the position of this slotted guide from the center of this uh, motor or we can say this uh, mechanism or this point a if we look into this triangle this is a right angle triangle and this ab is the hypotenuse of this triangle if this is angle theta so this is s this is the current position of this slotted guide so we we are having this right angle triangle like this this is 0.2 this is the length uh, of link ab this is 0.2 meters this is s right so and in this is theta so we can say that s is since s is adjacent to angle theta so we can say that this is the cos component of this point 2 so s is equal to 0.2 cos of theta and if this is the the positive direction if if this if if towards the right is positive s then the motion towards the left will be considered as negative right since that will be in the negative s direction so then the velocity will be we can say that the velocity will be minus 5 meter per second according to this coordinate system towards the right is the positive direction so towards the left the velocity will become negative and the acceleration will become negative so the acceleration is minus 2 meter per second square and similarly we need to convert this theta into radians so theta is equal to 60 degrees or we can say this is pi divided by 3 let me write it as pi divided by 3 radians 
Now, in order to find the angular velocity and ang angular acceleration, we need to take the derivative of this s equals to 0 0.2 cos of theta since we know that um, d theta by dt is omega and alpha is d square theta by dt square. So, we need to take the derivative of this equation two times with respect to t. So, this will be, if I take the, the first derivative, so that will be ds divided by dt is equal to 0 0.2 is constant and the derivative of cos of theta is sine of theta and uh, this is minus sine of theta and again we need to take the derivative of theta again that which is the we need to apply the chain rule so that will be d theta by dt so ds by dt is the velocity is minus 0 0.2 sine of theta and d theta by dt is omega so this is omega so now omega is equal to v divided by minus 0 0.2 sine of theta so let's say this is our equation one and this will give us the omega value for theta equals to 60 degrees so now if i substitute all the values so the omega will be equal to now the velocity is minus 5 this velocity is minus 5 so minus 5 divided by minus 0 0.2 sine of pi divided by 3 now our calculator needs needs to be in radians right so i will convert my calculator into radians so this is minus 5 divided by minus 0 0.2 sine of pi divided by 3 if you guys are using the angle in in degrees then there is no need to convert the units into radians right so omega is equal to omega is equal to 28.87 radian per second so when theta is equal to 60 degrees the this link ab is rotating with an angular velocity of 28.87 radian per second in the clockwise direction Similarly, if I take one another derivative of this, so that will give us, we can say that this will be dv by dt minus 0 0.2 is constant, d by dt of sine of theta omega. So theta and omega both are the function of time, so we need to apply the product rule. And this dv by dt, this is the, the linear acceleration. So we can say that the linear acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.2. And so the derivative of, we need to apply the product rule. So I will write uh, sine of theta and d omega by dt plus omega. And the derivative of sine of theta is cos of theta. And then one another derivative of the angle so d theta by dt and again this d theta by dt is omega so i will write that this is omega uh, let me write it like this this is this is omega and this omega multiplied that by this omega this is omega square so we can write this is minus 0 0.2 sine of theta d omega by dt is alpha plus omega square cos of theta equals to acceleration so now since we want to find um, this alpha we need to separate this so we so i will divide both side of equation by minus 0 0.2 so this is minus 0 0.2 this will cancel out so the equation will be we will have the equation like this and now we can say that um, sine of theta into alpha is equal to i need to bring this term to the other side of the equation so that will be a uh, divided by minus 0 0.2 minus omega square cos of theta and if, if I divide both sides of equation by sine of theta, we will have the equation like this. So this will be 1 divided by sine of theta, a divided by minus 0 0.2 minus omega square 
cos of theta so this is equation 2 this will give us the angular acceleration for for any angle theta and omega square and this if we are given acceleration and omega and theta so we will be able to find the angular acceleration so now we are given the values the angular acceleration is equal to 1 divided by sine of 60 degrees so 60 degrees is pi divided by 3 radians the acceleration is given which is minus 2 towards the left is negative so minus 2 divided by minus 0 0.2 minus omega square we know omega which is 28.87 square cos of pi divided by 3 so this will give us the angular acceleration so 1 divided by uh, sine of pi divided by 3 minus 2 divided by minus 0 0.2 minus 28.87 square into cos of pi divided by 3 so this gives us an angular acceleration equals to minus 469.66 so it is approximately uh, minus 470 radian per second square now the ang the the negative sign tells us that the angular acceleration is is in the opposite direction this means that if the omega is in the clockwise direction then the angular acceleration is in this direction so what does this mean that in terms of the angular acceleration the link a b is deaccelerating right the the angular velocity is decreasing as it will go towards the left what will happen is that um, an instant will come that the velocity will become zero and then it will return back so when the angular velocity is in the clockwise direction the velocity is the angular velocity is decreasing and the acceleration is um, negative so this means that the acceleration is deacceleration so we can say that alpha is 470 radian per second square and the direction is in the counterclockwise direction and here we got the plus sign for omega so this omega is plus sign so this means that uh, the direction of the angular acceleration is in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics